Howdy folks, Roach here. This is the latest in the series of videos uh, in the Recon series. This one's called Had Enough. It poses the questions. Um, have you had enough? I see this out there a lot. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there that's had quite enough of what it is they're seeing and uh, they're actually resorting to extreme means um, to make their uh, displeasure known but I want to redirect uh, some of that energy into something a little bit more constructive again I if this material is something that uh, you think is useful to you um, I would suggest please help me Okay, and, and yeah, if you visit my site at roach.com, there's a donation button. You can help me that way. Uh, but more importantly, it helps if you like the video, then like it. Also, if you like the video, share it. The more we share this and the more people that have eyes on this, the better it's going to get uh, for all of us faster. And I mean all of us. Okay, so if, if, if these videos that I do for you actually impact you, if this one does, share it. Share it on Facebook, share it on any uh, social media platform that you would like. Uh, I, I mean, share my video on YouTube. Uh, I mean, anything that you want. Okay, it, it, it's free. I, I mean, I'm not going to go and, and, and get you for any kind of copyright ding. If you want to use the video pieces in, in some of the material that you're doing, have at it, folks. Have at it. Share it to your heart's content. Modify it. Hey, if you want to remix this down and add some music and, you know, add some other things, hey, you know, that's fine, too. It doesn't bother me. Okay? Just... Try not to pervert the message, okay? Uh, it's kind of important. Uh, I, I understand I'm not the best one uh, to be doing this. Um, it's just me, and, uh, you know, uh, the more help I get, uh, the, the faster it'll be for, uh, the better it'll be uh, for all of us, and, and, and the faster. Okay, so let's uh, get into uh, the presentation. Okay. The primary problem is that we don't quite have this place figured out. A lot of you folks are at the end of your rope. A lot of your folks, uh, you folks out there, realize that there's something not right. A lot of you folks are angry. And uh, hey, I, I'd be the last one. You, you folks that are mad, you folks that are outraged. You have real reasons to be outraged. Some of you are very depressed. And, and you have legitimate, valid reasons to be depressed and to be angry. However, what I would suggest is that the recourse that you choose um, shouldn't be violent. Okay? Okay? And a lot of you think that th that's the only way some of this is going to change. Okay? We're fighting amongst one another. Okay? There's no need for it. Absolutely no need. Okay? So, it, it, it's... You know, and, and, and folks, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm... Shoot, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not going to, uh, uh, you know deform or uh, mutilate your genitals. Um, I'm not going to uh, hit you over the head with a baton in the street. Uh, I'm not going to use a firearm on you. Uh, I'm not going to drone you when you go to a wedding. Okay, I'm not going to use any kind of chemical weapons. I'm not going to spray you with pepper spray. Uh, I am not going to try to convince you uh, uh, of any facts. Okay? I'm not going to argue with what you perceive as the truth. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, most people out there uh, have enough facts to come to correct conclusions. Um, the, the, but what I want to talk about is, is, some, uh, is looking at our perception. 
Our problem is not that we're stupid. It's not that we're mentally deficient. It's not that we're genetically, uh, 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 you know, uh, off or, or, or broken. And it's not because we're evil. There is a degree of confusion. You know, how is it that people can have the same facts and come to completely different conclusions? I mean, we label each other as stupid. Right? Or deranged. Or insane. And we call each other names. What is it about our process that leads to that? It's very simple. And I'm going to go through that right now. So you'll know. And look, folks, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a little bit different from, from most people. Okay, And, and it's okay. Uh, t typically, people can handle, uh, you know, intelligence ranges uh, roughly about 20% plus or minus. Okay? When, when people are either really, really you know, challenged mentally, and when people are really extreme in the other direction, folks generally become uncomfortable with that, okay? Um, although it may not appear so, um, and I don't mean to be modest, but I have a fairly robust capacity for intellect. Uh, doesn't mean that 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 intellect was necessarily used in a constructive way most of my life um, and and understand something that intellect is no immunity from confusion okay these are two totally different things and although it may appear sometimes that what I talk about is just totally nuts um, in this one I, I would suggest you know just set that aside and just watch because I, I don't believe I'm going to reveal anything to you that that's really going to uh, be hard for you to understand and, and something that you won't be able to agree to. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to attempt to use something, you know, fairly objective, uh, you know, logic and, and just simply um, work on your perception and, and your, your sense of awareness. And, and, and your sense of consciousness uh, about the world around you. Uh, for some of you, what I'm about to reveal to you is going to make you extremely uncomfortable. It's going to make you extremely angry. But I want to caution you now. Like I said, you have legitimate reasons to be angry. Make sure that you direct your anger into the correct direction. Otherwise, we're going to be end up in the same place that we started. Okay, so, uh, but I do want to say that even you, even though you may be rather uncomfortable at first with some of the things that I'm going to show you, that I want you to understand that there is a happy ending. Okay, this little hint that I'm going to give you has the capacity of unifying us as a race of people on this planet. This simply alone is the beginnings of a true reconciliation. And all I'm going to do is try to uh, set up uh, a, a, a foundation upon which you can begin to look at changing the way you perceive who you are, where you are, and why you're here. Because fundamentally, that's the source of our, 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 our greatest happiness. It's also the source of our greatest discomfort and, and suffering. Okay? So let's, let's get started with the, with the slides here. You'll have to uh, be patient. It's me and, you know. <laughs> All right. I want to talk about the building blocks of logic. Okay, and I, I'm going to use a model here, okay, and hopefully you can bear, uh, bear with me with that. Uh, how we come to conclusions is we use uh, logic, and, and what we do is we take, um, uh, you know, facts, and we take evidence, 
and we use that evidence and facts and the things that we experience and the things that we experiment with to actually create conclusions. Then we base those conclusions on other conclusions. Okay. Now some of our facts we consider truth, right? And on either way, it it, it could it, it could be used to balance uh, uh, to balance our conclusions. Okay, or change the orientation of our conclusions. Sometimes uh, when something is false, it reinforces our conclusion. Sometimes when things are true, it reinforces our conclusions, and the vice versa. Right? Things that are false may uh, may uh, 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 are, cause us to abandon the conclusion, and things that are true may cause us to abandon the uh, conclu uh, the conclusion. Okay? But everything that we decide for ourselves are based on these fundamental building blocks. Okay? So we take great pride in, in trying to come to correct conclusions. Okay? And, and we, we attempt to know right from wrong. Because, you know, in, in essence, we're attempting to avoid suffering. You know, follow our bliss. You can't follow your bliss if everything that you're doing is not what it is that you're supposed to be doing. It means you're not responding correctly to the stimuli that's in your environment. You're irresponsible. Or you're just simply not responding. And, you know, we find that if we come to the wrong conclusions, it's actually very painful. So it becomes very important for us to actually look at our process of logic, how we employ logic, and those conclusions that we arrive at through the use of this logic. Okay, so this is the this is what I'm going to use as the model for the basic building blocks uh, of logic. Now, what we do is we'll begin. You know, we start when we're young, and we we begin. You know, just starting out testing these things to determine whether or not what we're arriving at is is right or wrong and a lot of it is given to us from our parents uh, could be educators it, it could be you know history it could be trial and error what we see in the universe uh, through the applications of physics or mathematics or or anything else it's purely objective and and we begin by basing one conclusion on another conclusion right and it appears that things are working correctly for us. So then, okay, we, we start developing these foundations. And, and all the evidence that we collect together and all the facts, uh, you know, brings us to, you know, these conclusions uh, that are based on other conclusions that we perceive as being right. And, and any time that we, you know, put something together that doesn't seem to work correctly, it'll, it'll lean us over into the wrong area. Okay, so for us, um, there, there's a great motivation to try to at least examine our logic to make sure that we're actually coming to the same conclusions. We also spend a lot of time to make sure that we have enough facts to actually base our conclusions correctly. Um, and, and, you know, we, we get into great arguments about whether or not we have the right facts or if we're interpreting those facts correctly. Um, and, 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 and that becomes a great source of conflict. Okay, so let's move to the next slide. Sometimes we are missing uh, an amount of evidence and an amount of conclusions and, the, and, that, and then we come up short. We don't actually get to something that's right that allows us to avoid suffering. Okay. At which point we may move the little right circle down to where we are because, hey, it looks like we've looked at everything. It looks like we have all the evidence. And, and you know, right now we can't, we can't really have any degree of certainty. So we move the little, the little right thing to fit our, our, our logic. And, and, and again, okay, let's presume that our facts are facts and those, that's what, that which is false is indeed false and that our logic is completely flawless, that we've employed it correctly, that we've correctly interpreted the facts so that we can arrive at a completely valid conclusion using pure logic. Okay? 
All right, so next slide here. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay. So once we have an established logic chain with a set of conclusions firmly proven sufficiently in our own minds such that it's it, it, it reproduce uh, you know you can be reproduced and we arrive at the same same point uh, using that that logic chain then that logic chain becomes very solidified for us almost like concrete okay it's at that point where okay we're not going to listen to any more facts or we're not going to allow anything else to interfere with that logic chain because in our minds we are sufficiently confident that we employed a, you know a proper method to to build that con uh, that chain of conclusions um, uh, sufficiently uh, and 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 you know, all of a sudden, you know, and, th and this is why, you know, that persistence uh, 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 of that logic chain is, is really protected um, egoically um, from the introduction of anything in there. Because, you know, quite frankly, what we'll determine is if there's a fact or if there's a falsity that either uh, affects our, our logic chain, we'll resist it. Okay. Why? Because oh, we believe that our conclusions were, were done properly, and that um, that you know there's no need to actually revisit that. And and we're uh, and because of the rigidity of, of this belief system, uh, we have a hard time actually introducing new things into these conclusions that are that are fairly fixed and firm. Okay. So. Let's get to to the next one here. All right, so now these logic chains uh, generally come from others. It comes from our parents. Uh, it, it comes from you know groupthink, okay, and and. and you know, it, we start adopting these these conclusion chains because it, it it looks like it works fine for everybody else. Everybody else thinks that way, so we have a degree of trust that you know they came to the right conclusions and that they used the correct facts. So we start adopting these things, and it's not wrong to do that. Okay, it's not wrong to do that. And uh, and because, you know, quite frankly, uh, I mean, if there's a lot of people that are doing something and that something seems to be right, then there's no problem with adopting their particular logic chain. OK, so that's the, you know, I, I, and, and, and again, I, I don't want to insult your intelligence. I don't want to say that, hey, wait a minute, and your conclusions are false because you use faulty logic. Let's let's presume that you lose, use the correct logic and that you use the correct evidence. Okay? So, again, what is the problem? Hmm? All right? So, so we've got folks out here that are using logic chains... Okay, and and they're the same ones, but they're arriving in different places. They got the same facts, same set of facts. They're using the same identical logic. It's valid logic. They've eliminated all of the fallacies, but they're coming to completely different conclusions. And and, and we're told, oh well, it's because we all have our own relative truth. That's how we use that, that. That's what we come up with to explain this: that we all have our own relative truth. The facts are facts, but you know, there's this. You know, we arrive at, and, and this is how we use to 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 uh, to figure out something that we just don't understand. How is it that two people can witness the same same identical and have the same experience, see the same facts, use the same logic, and arrive at completely different places. Okay? This is the problem. We are killing each other because of this. We insult each other because of this. Right? Right? It's a pretty important question. I mean, it's a pretty important issue here, folks. I mean, w w we need to know what that is. I mean, what is it? 
I mean, it's something that's right in front of our faces. It's something that's so easy. It's hidden from us. We choose not to look at it. What is that thing that causes such conflict? We go to war all over this. We kill one another for this. What was it? What is it we're not seeing? What we're not seeing, we're not recognizing is that there are fundamental base assumptions that all of our logics, all of our logic is founded on. They're there, but we don't even question them. We just assume that that's the way it is. Why? Because, well, hey, everybody believes that way. What if those assumptions are not what we think they are? What if when we s simply start applying logic that those assumptions actually become pretty important? Isn't it time we start paying attention to our base assumptions? Because quite frankly, the manipulating of assumption is exactly why we're arriving at two different conclusions. Taking the same identical logic chain, we can arrive in completely different places if our base assumptions are different. But we don't revisit those. Who gives these things to us? Well, well. They come from people from before us, our ancestors. These things lately, at least in the last 240 years in this country, and, and probably since the beginning, these base assumptions are handed to us from religion, from government, from science. And it becomes the most potent tool of shaping your perception of the universe to the point where if you do not realize that your base assumption may not be on sound ground, then you'll never discover why two people who see the same, uh, same evidence, same facts, and use the same flawless logic arrive at a completely different place. Now, for those people who think they run the place, how easy is it for them to change your base assumptions such that they can cause you to believe or think or perceive in a completely different way? How, how easy is it? Hmm? Just simply relabel it. That's it. You just simply relabel it. Change the name. Okay? All right, taking this example here. You, you know, I tell you, well, that's a cat and a dog. Got the label, cat. You have a logic chain. You see the characteristics of a particular cat. Okay, you know, you know what a cat is. Now you associate the label with the object. Seems pretty straightforward. So how do they manipulate us? It's easy. They take a dog and they label it a cat. They just change the name. So here we are saying, hmm, we're applying our logic chain. Looks flawless, right? That's a cat, right? So we look and, wow, okay, yeah, we're arriving at the cat, right? That's the red arrow there, or the red logic chain there. Yeah, it's got to be a cat. But actually, it's a dog. Hmm. So we have all the evidence and the facts that it's actually a dog, but because our logic chain is already solidified, we just ignore those. No, that can't be true. It's not right. That's a cat. 
So you have to start asking yourself, okay, how prevalent is this? Hmm? I'm going to take us back to, uh, to the living room here. How prevalent is this renaming and relabeling? Hmm? I'll tell you. Nearly everything that you perceive of value has been relabeled to mean something completely different and been many times the exact opposite. That which you use that you think is money is not money. That which you perceive as government, it's not your government. You call it my government. It is a government. But it's not your government. See? Would your government or my government do what these governments are doing right now? My government would not hose me off in the street with a water cannon. Wouldn't spray me with pepper spray wouldn't beat me with a baton simply because I disagree with my government. It's not my government. It is a government, but not my government. You know, folks here, I mean, we, we look at our, uh, here in the United States, we look at our founding documents. Every country has them. And, and for, for the most, um, you know, seems like fairly reasonable policies of, or, or, or laws. But we can't see, wait, wait a minute, why isn't this working? I mean, you know, uh, folks, if you look at the U.S. Constitution and the, and the Declaration of Independence, it's fairly straightforward. There's nothing in those documents that explain the behavior of the U.S. government right now. Why? Well, quite frankly, the system, right, including the Supreme Court and the interpretation, the legislature, uh, and, and, and even the executive bra uh, branch, have relabeled everything. In, in fact, they've actually relabeled you. You aren't even who you think you are. And until you get to a place where you say, hey, wait a minute. When they say the word person, what is it that they actually mean here? I'll let you in on a hit, little hint. When a police officer says person, they don't mean you. They mean an entity that's under their jurisdiction. And if you say, hey, I'm that person, guess what? You just said, hey, I am that entity that's under your jurisdiction. Beat me, pepper spray me, and bash my skull in because I'm out of my mind. Now, they use our inability to see the truth of the labels as evidence that we're out of our minds. And, as, and the fact that we're out of our minds and irresponsible gives them the lawful authority to tell us what to do, to protect us, to ensure our security. How is it, folks, that the almost univ you know, complete deprivation of all of my basic fundamental rights are removed for my protection. In the name of national security, you have to do exactly what we tell you. We're going to do this, we're going to do anything we want to you, and we're going to ensure that you remain in a perpetual state of confusion and criminality But it's for your own good. Now, you got people on the street setting fire to everything around them. They're mad. You got 
and you know, of course, we look, and you know, the people in government said, "Well, they're they're confused. We're trying to help them." Well, the people in government any aren't any less confused than the people on the street tearing everything up. So you've got these government officials fighting the people, and the people fighting the government official. Yet the people that are actually redefining the labels, they win called divide and conquer how do they do that well shoot <laughs> they're real good at it think they put a lot of energy into it no uh uh-uh. they just redefine labels doesn't mean what you think it means you think legal and law is the same thing and you use them synonymously they're not the same Then there's some authority that comes out there and says, hmm, you know, Broge, he's out of his mind. No, I've heard, I listen to the stuff he says. He, 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 he's crazy. That's okay. He can be crazy. But rest assured, I'm the authority. And you think, oh, well, you know, my gosh, this guy's got a suit on uh, or a lab coat on. Or, or he's wearing, you know, some sort of religious regalia. And he is a man of authority. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna take that what that man says as my truth, and I'm going to use that as a fundamental assumption, and then I'm gonna start basing all my conclusions based on that. So then we go through our lives beating our heads against the wall. We can't figure out. Wait a minute. Why isn't this working? I use logic. You know, I consciously, uh, you know, conscientiously in, uh, attempted to interpret all of the all of, of the stimuli in my environment, so that you know I could respond correctly to the things that are occurring, and, and it's still not working. Why? What is wrong? It's not your facts, folks. It's not that you're stupid. It's not. Because you're surrounded by, you know, nut jobs everywhere. They're not crazy. They've adapted themselves to a crazy environment. They've made assumptions about what reality is and how reality works that were given to them by people who want that reality perverted. And it works. Look at us. We're fighting everybody around us. Oh my gosh, you know, those people that have a different skin color than me. Oh, they're the problem. They're the problem. Oh no, those stupid people. Oh, yeah, they're the problem. Oh, yeah, that that they're the problem. Oh, those old people. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, it's the young people. No, no, it's the rich. No, it's the poor. Oh, they're Democrats. They're Republican. They're liberal. They're conservative. They're capitalists. They're communists. They're socialists. Ah, oh, they're Buddhists. They're they're uh, Muslims. They're Christians. They're Jews. They're comedians. They're authoritarians. All the while, these guys are just sitting back going, oh man, what are we going to do with these people? Well, let's gas them and get rid of them. Are they wrong? Let's snap out of it, folks. It's not hard. Really not. But if you think that violence is going to be a solution, <laughs> you won't be able to let me know how that worked out for you. Trust me. Okay? We believe a lie. We draw conclusions based on those lies. And our ultimate conclusions that we've based on that lie are also lies. I would suggest it's actually a pretty good idea to suspect everything, question everything. You know, some of the base assumptions that we make are hard to even realize that we've we, we've taken as assumptions. Like, for instance, we believe in luck, chance, accident, and chaos. You know, Einstein didn't believe in any of that. What did he know? No luck, chance, and accident. We're also told that, you know, hey, uh, the, the, the ultimate authority 
right? The ultimate creator god of nature. That's supreme authority. Eh, it's just a abstract concept. It's wired into you. You know, it's a function of, of your brain. It doesn't really exist. It has nothing to do with anything. So they spread this concept of atheism or, 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 you know, or, you know, complete egoic, you know, uh, selfishness. And they tell us, hey, you know, that being doesn't exist. Don't worry about it. Uh, you, you know, any of those, any of you folks that actually believe in that high authority, you know, it's just superstition. You have no proof. Of course you have no proof. And you're not going to prove it if, if if you start with their bad assumptions and attempt to prove it. They've already got you figured out. They're already ten steps ahead of you. You're totally screwed before you even start. Now, do they know? Oh, absolutely. Sure. What do you, how, how do you think? They, they did, they're not doing this uh, because they're evil. They're not doing this because they're unlawful. They're doing this because they know the law. They know how these things work. You know, this is part of an educational process. This is part of your educational process. Are you starting to figure it out yet? I mean, seriously, folks. Or do you just want to be angry and just beat each, uh, beat, beat each other up? I am no judgment here, man. You know, if that's, if that's what you think is going to solve your, all your problems, you just go ahead with that. Right? You just go ahead with that. And, and that's fine. You think I'm completely crazy. Just go ahead. I'm totally okay with that. One thing I know, there's no reason for any of it. This could be the most wonderful experience for everybody. We have everything we need here. Everything. We enjoy complete abundance here. There's food as far as the eye can see in every direction. We don't see it as food because, you know, we've made assumptions that, you know, well, these guys are telling us what food is and what isn't. You know, if it ain't in the grocery store, it's not food. Right. That's, besides, that's where all food comes from, right? You know, it's at the grocery store. <laughs> what happens when the grocery store has no food? You're going to starve to death. You're going to be surrounded by food, starving to death. <laughs> you know? This is one of the things that I thought was kind of curious about Katrina. Boy, that was an interesting social experiment. You had 20,000 people surrounded by water. 20,000 people couldn't figure out how to generate drinkable water. They had all the resources just sitting right there. They didn't have electricity. They didn't need electricity. Are you telling me there's 20,000 people that don't know how to produce drinkable water? To get them uh, to a point where, where you know, the government comes in and saves them? They didn't need to be saved. I mean, it's crazy, folks. I mean, it's crazy. You know, I don't, I, and I don't know if it's funny or if it's it, 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 it's terrifying. Hmm? Help me out with that. Let's all kill one another because we don't understand the basic principles of our perception. We don't understand the basic principles of our world. And we're too lazy to actually even question our base assumptions. And, and you're not you're not wrong. You're not illogical, you're not crazy, you're not evil, and you're not stupid. I'm going to assume that you're smart, sufficiently intelligent enough to, to come to the correct conclusions. And, and, and you might find this odd, but I've met many, many people who are mentally challenged, who are autistic, who have, uh, you know, uh, an incapacity. Maybe they have, you know, Rye syndrome or, or you know, some other neurological, uh, 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 you know, ailment. And I found them to know more about living than people who are, you know, ha have full control over their uh, uh, faculties. And why is that? Well, it takes everything that they have just to remain in the immediate moment and, and react uh, correctly to the stimuli in their environment. It takes everything they have. And that's what they do. They focus on the now and the immediate moment. They're not preoccupied by their intellect thinking about what might happen or dwelling on things in the past. They're, you know, they're right here, right now, paying attention, listening, watching. 
trying to do what's right based on what's right now. They don't have the capacity to, to distract themselves with intellectual pursuits or expectations or all the hypothetical things that could happen or all the ways they could have changed something that they can't change in the past. So you, you watch these people and, and, and you marvel at the simplicity of their existence and you say, wow, if people could be as good at living lives as these people that society says are defective, wow, we wouldn't have any problems. You know, all the while you got, you know, I, I'm not Menza, folks. I'm not Menza. And, and because, you know, quite frankly, a lot of people who are in Menza believe that, hey, wait a minute, our problem is that we're genetically defective and we're all stupid. And if we would just get rid of all of those stupid and genetically defected people, then this would be a just just a wonderful planet, really. <laughs> See, I'm not down with that, folks. I, I don't look at intellect as being the primary disqualifier for existence. The things that make people valuable are their capacity for attention, their capacity for awareness, and their diligence in removing distractions from the immediate moment out of, of their uh, 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 of the process uh, that they apply to live their lives. That's all. Pay attention. React correctly to what you see. Question everything. Reevaluate your base assumptions because if you're making decisions based on what everybody thinks, <laughs> most of what we think is valid as far as our base primary assumptions are completely wrong. And this is what's leading to the conflict. This is what's leading to us fighting one another. When each of us believes that we are right. And each of us believes that we're... And you all are right. You are. Your logic is flawless. Your assumptions are wrong. And that's okay. You can always revisit those. I mean, I do that a lot in my videos. Which brings me up to another point. I can make this video. It could change people's minds. Uh, some of my videos have completely changed people's lives just by simply the small little key. You hand them the small little key and all of a sudden everything makes sense. They go from being depressed in a miserable existence to truly enjoying their lives. And nobody watches these things. Nobody even knows I exist. You know, I got, you know, I mean, I, I don't jump on any of these, these, these Twitter chains, you know, so I don't automatically, you know, uh, follow people and, and, you know, in, in the hopes that they'll follow me back. I look at people that I say, hmm, okay, well, you know, there's somebody that seems, uh, seems pretty important. They seem like they're thinking correctly, so I'll follow them. And if they follow me, fine, they're not, you know. People aren't beating a path to my door to, you know, try to figure out their experience. Nobody watches these videos. They don't hear me out there, you know. Now, the few people that a actually have, it took the time to actually try to figure out what, what it was I was trying, trying to say. Wow, some pretty profound people out there now. Awake. Awake. They're right in the same position I am. It, Nobody's hearing me. You know, oh, people like it. They like the video. They'll say they like it. They'll put a comment on there. Don't share it with anybody. I don't know why. They don't don't know why. I mean, I may get five shares on any video. That's Twitter. And if I'm not promoting it, I, very few people are actually promoting it. I have almost no help whatsoever. And the capacity for completely transcending, transfigurable power is completely lost on, the, on this universe. We'd, we'd rather just, you know, mutilate one another, kill one another, rape one another, steal from one another. All of the wonderful things that makes life wonderful. You know? 
No judgment here, man. I'm just making an observation. Okay, ladies, gentlemen. Just making an observation. Yeah. You know, you you people at the top who think you got it all figured out, hmm? <laughs> You're beating your own people in the street. All right? You know, you know, especially you folks in the EU, right? Now, think about what it is that you're doing. You actually think that there's going to be people left for you to even rule after you, you, you keep doing what it is that you're doing right now? You don't think it's going to completely degenerate to a complete conflict that, make no mistakes, going to directly affect you? You're not immune. These people can mess everything up, including what it is that you're trying to do. And you're, and you're seeing that right now. You're seeing it right now. You don't have control here, folks. Because you're as confused as, you know, these this rabble out there, this rebellious rabble. You're as confused as they are. Take the wrong authorities. And what are you doing? Well, well you know, I, I look at the result. Hey, you know, you got mess and garbage all over the place, stuff on fire, people getting beaten in the street, people dying, people freaking out, shooting one another. <laughs> Good plan, yeah. I'm really impressed with that plan, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can have it. I'm, I'm me. I'm going to do this until I can't do this. I would appreciate if you could help me. Okay? Right? That's where I'm at. You'll find me. I'm a public person. I, I actually respond. I truly don't want to hurt anybody. There's no reason. You know? I, I, I live here in America, but what I talk about transcends any any political barriers, a, a, any religion, any school of thought. Transcends class, age, economic, uh, 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 you know, e economic status. It's universal. These are fundamental. But if you don't want to go there, can't help you. So you folks, you've had enough. Hey, spend some time in my videos. Hey, talk to me. Help me out. It'd be nice if you know I had 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 equipment. You know, it'd be nice if I had a resources. It would be nice if I could actually generate sufficient income so that you know uh, my wife and I could actually you know eat reasonably. You know, have the things that we need. You know, to to actually keep doing this. Because you know, quite frankly, if you know if there's going to be much help here here uh, soon, I'm you know I, I don't know if I'd be able to do this. I'm definitely going to try. I'll, I'll do everything. But, you know, hey, folks, can't make videos if I'm on the street somewhere with a sign asking for help. Not that anybody would really help me. And quite frankly, they drive by and say, oh, well, you know, that guy's just lazy. He's lazy and he's stupid. That's his problem. If he would just go to work, then, then everything would be okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to be lazy. He's got to be stupid. There's got to be something wrong with him. That is until you're that guy or that woman on the street. Then you realize, hey, wait a minute. I got a raw deal here. But what do we do? We blame everybody else for our problems. You know, it's it's not it's not it's not what we're doing. You know, we're not making a mistake. Oh, we're using flawless logic. Yeah, it's flawless. I have all the facts. Ha ha. Your facts, they suck. I have my truth, it's truth, ha ha ha, and it's better than your truth, ha 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 ha. And I'm so certain, I'm going to kill you because you don't believe the same things. Yeah, I like the EU, that, that's funny. You can't criticize policies of migration. Oh yeah, it's such a wonderful thing to mix people who have nothing with people that have something. What are you thinking? Great plan! How about we help the people that have nothing have something 
in 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 their homes in their in their home countries in in, in the places where they were born in the places where they grew up you know why 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 do they have to leave their countries to have what it is that they they should already have hmm? disgusting shameful actually just the worst oh but purely logical yeah got all the facts all righty folks remember you can find me here roach.com find me on twitter uh if you go through my youtube channel you should be able to find all my information hey my phone works it'd be nice to uh, actually have somebody call me once in a while you know i got a few friends but you know right now i'm like a hermit i live right out in the middle of right in front of everybody and Nobody can see I'm here. You know I'm here. All right? So, I'm Roge. And we will talk to you later.